Scott Gimple is doing interviews again, which you know what that means. Fandom speculation time. We also have updates to Dead City 2, Tiny Bit of Daryl uh, Dixon. So again, we have more stirrings of a universe collaboration between all of the different characters and spinoffs again. Scott Gimple just did another interview with TV Insider talking about, again, possible never say never of all the universes colliding. And he he's very vague purposely all the time. But I do notice like the paper trail of every time he talks about it, it gets just like a little bit more concrete, right? And I think before, like before all the spinoffs were really kicking off, he kind of almost ignored the question and just laughed it off and avoided it. And now he's saying things like never say never or it's never off the table. And again, in the interview that we covered previously, he even said that his end goal, his dream basically would be to make them collide at some point. He did say specifically that on a permanent basis or temporarily, I personally lean more towards a temporarily basis, whether it's like a like little mini series that they put out, you know, or a few episodes here or there on one of the spinoffs. I don't think it's going to be like a season 12 of The Walking Dead, like a lot of people think it's going to be. It's going to be a whole, something whole completely different in my opinion. He also briefly mentions the Daryl Dixon spinoff of The Book of Carol, and that one was officially confirmed to be coming out in summer of 2024, which is so much sooner than I thought we we're gonna get it because they literally just stopped filming at like the end of last year of the second season basically like while the first season was still being aired almost they were already gearing up and doing everything for it so apparently they could do these shows a lot faster than I thought that or they're just trying to expedite it sooner just so they can kind of like springboard off of all of the massive success of the ones who live too and then Daryl Dixon itself was like massively popular more popular than I thought it was going to be honestly I just hope that all of this like expediting it doesn't affect like the actual quality of the show and that it's still gonna be the same quality as season one in my opinion I thought season one was really really great really strong I, I don't I've watched those episodes multiple times like just in my free time and the side characters that that were still alive are actually really great and strong I'm, I'm aimed up for season two of Daryl Dixon. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm ready for it. Scott Gimple specifically states, I think The Walking Dead could go on and on and on. Star Trek does. Why not us, basically? And that's really true. Like, people drag The Walking Dead for just never ending. But how many, like, remade, like, TV shows and movies and reboots of, like, Star Wars do we have? Star Trek has how much going on? Marvel has been, like, Marvel and DC have been, like, doubling down for how long on all of those movies and, like, cartoons? and comic. Let the zombie lovers have a little fun. Like just let us have fun. So now we have a little bit of update on Dead City. We don't have a ton. I found something very interesting that has me just a little more excited for what we're going to see next season. If you're not caught up, Dead City is going to be filming in Massachusetts, specifically in East Randolph Industrial Park. Dead City will be filming until July 21st, 2024, at least in this area. I don't know if that means they're going to go to different places, but this is like the hub of where they're going to film, essentially. We also have this casting call that they put out to get extras in the actual TV shows. And of course, they ask for walkers all the time to be a part of the show. They ask for post-apocalyptic survivors, which is obviously necessary. They ask for soldiers specifically or various other extra roles, including military experience or law enforcement experience. When I hear soldiers, the very first thing I think of is flashback. So does that mean that in Dead City Season 2, we're going to get some kind of flashback to the fall of New York? We got a little bit of details from Tommaso, that tribes people, who said that the cities were being evacuated and got bombed and they destroyed all the bridges and trapped like 2 million people on the island, which is why you have to only travel by boat. We know that Pearly Armstrong is a New York native, Bronx specifically, so they could do something similar to what they did in uh, Paris with Isabel and have it through her POV. And I think that would be so cool if they pick Pearly and how he escaped New York. Since to my knowledge, he's the only like the only important native New Yorker. And he said that he got out with his family. We can see how he escaped all of this stuff. I think that'd be really cool. And it would be another way to kind of like reintroduce Pearly again to the fandom and give him some more screen time. For all of Dead City's flaws, 
loves. I did enjoy Maggie and Herschel's dynamic. I find that very interesting. And I really enjoyed Pearlie Armstrong's backstory. I found his whole story with his brother. I thought it was really great. So I'm hoping that is gonna play into the second season. So that's got me interested. Let me know your thoughts below. Did I miss any kind of like dead updates in the fandom? If you like these, I'm thinking of doing like maybe a reoccurring like weekly thing because you know, there's gonna be a lot more BTS coming out, especially with Dead City than they're filming. So maybe I can kind of like put everything together in one video. I wanna stay with posting one video a week, even after like the Ones Who Lives is off. But I just don't wanna shit post anything randomly that <laughs> isn't even important. Give me a subscribe, give me a like, and I will see you very soon.